Is it lawful for a man to divorce his wife for any other reason? Marriage as an institution is very important. It is what keeps our society and our community stable and healthy. A good marriage produces good families that consist of our society. And so, all institutions, be it human or divine in origin, must work so hard for its preservation. In the Gospel passage today, Jesus is confronted with the question on marriage by the Pharisees. They ask him, Is it lawful for a man to divorce his wife for any other reason? The Pharisees are not bad people. Perhaps they do not exert effort enough in guiding people in the right observance of God's law. Their thinking calcified in time and no fresh insight comes from them. That is why Jesus is irritated by them. They who are supposed to lead people to the truth becomes now a stumbling block. So, what about marriage? Jesus says that some marriages are done in bad faith and can be revoked. The church has the process of nullifying marriages done in bad faith. Take note of that. The rules are strict and precise. It cannot be used for convenience only as expected by the Pharisees, thinking that Moses allowed it anyway. Marriage is a big responsibility, underline that. It cannot be embraced half-heartedly. As we all know today, divorce is very prevalent. In many ways, we have become a throwaway society and we also are being influenced by this concept unknowingly with our personal relationships if marriage is not working the couple may just decide to divorce rather than go through a process or counseling we wanted shortcuts if a friendship is on the rocks we may just decide to walk away from it. In today's world, there is a strong tendency to see commitment as good as long as it is in harmony. But if not, divorce might be the last healthy choice as long as all the process of reconciliation is observed. When difficulties arise, we may just walk away rather than to stay and try to work it out. Today, Jesus calls us to take our personal relationships and commitments very seriously. A true and loving commitment is the most precious gift we can give to the other person. Yes, we mess up and go through lots of ups and downs. However, a loving and long-lasting relationship like in marriage, friendship, family, church, community, etc. may be the greatest gift we have received in our lifetime. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, thank you for this beautiful day. Pray over my marriage, asking that you infuse us with passion for life, for love and intimacy, to grow in wisdom and to serve you together. May hope rise in our hearts and may our love burn for each other like never before. 
Amen.